Hi, I'm Rose Dunn. I hope you enjoy this brief introduction to a selected aspect of HCCs. So we do have external auditors. We have the IVAs, and you think of them as non-governmental auditors. They're working for the Medicare Advantage plan to look at some of the documentation and some of the claims that the health plan turned in to CMS to get their payment of the HCCs. Um, when this portion of the review is occurring, all of my entities out there, my physician offices and my hospitals, you're going to get requests for complete medical records from um, that health plan, complete meaning every encounter that the patient had uh, for the year. CMS usually requires the plan to look at about 200 uh, patients, and that means all of their activity for the year. Then there's the RADV. The RADV auditors are government auditors, and they're working for CMS to validate whatever the IVA, the independent validation auditors found, and the Medicare Advantage Health Plans. And they rely on this medical record reviewer guidance, which was actually recently updated, uh, 320 of 2019. And I gave you the URL for that. And it's very comprehensive. So I would encourage all of you to read that, especially if you can't fall asleep at night. Um, and then they report their findings to CMS, and CMS adjusts the payment to the health plan. So if they find that... Um, an HCC was not valid, they take the money back. And obviously, if they see that there's been some uh, patterns here, they can kick it up to the ZPICs, they can kick it over to the DOJ or the FBI. The most common findings from the RADB and the IVA is that the patient identification piece is missing, hence having that dual role of coder analyst looking at the documentation or that we don't have a legible signature. Well, we've had that for eons. Um, that the EHR entry was unauthenticated. So maybe we need to make that a required field before the doc can leave the, the record. Unspecified diagnoses were used. Uh, bad, bad, bad. Um, the diagnosis bill did not match the diagnosis documented. The diagnosis these did not support meat. The status of cancer was unclear. That status and the current treatment of cancer needs to be documented. And then chronic conditions were reported, but the chart did not say chronic. That said history of. Bad scene there. <laughs>